the wing skin is firmly on the shank of the bolt, so that's why we had to drive it in and out. So when we go back in, we'll put a layer of sealant on it here and completely cover this area. Caleb Reed, the work lead for fuel system repair, explains we how we're going to fix a pesky problem. We've been making several attempts on this particular leak since, what, I think it was June. So to keep the aircraft in the rotation to meet mission requirements, this crew performed what they called quick fixes. When we were first called out, we put the epoxy on the outside and just get it to stop. And as long as we can successfully stop the leak with the epoxy, then our TOs allow the jet to fly. But these repairs are only good for so long. There's limits on how much it can leak, but it's very small limits. So if we don't correct it properly the first time, we're going to end up having to come back. It's going to come back into the hangar and we're going to work another who knows how long to correct it the next time. So this time the aircraft is in the hangar for 11 days for a more extensive repair. But we're now in the tank and we're doing a permanent repair and replacing that sealant that's actually in the structure that's failed. So this should give us a repair that will last years. So this aircraft was initially set for 11 days of repairs, but when they were finishing up, they found some additional items they had to fix. So it was in the hangar for about 13 days, and now it's ready to return to the fleet so it can continue the mission of the 55th wing. Reporting from the fuel barn, I'm JB Artley for the 55th wing public affairs office, where the sun never sets on the fight in 55th.